Hi, hello, welcome to my channel Learn More Maths. Uh, today we are going to solve problems from exercise 11.3. So this is the first problem. So these problems are based on uh, uh, trigonometric ratios of complementary angles. Uh, so just uh, you have to recall the formulas to solve the problems in exercise 11.3. So this is the first problem evaluate he is asking uh, totally there are six bits in the first problem. So this is the first bit uh, tan 36 degrees divided by cot 54 degrees. Uh, so by observing the angles of the given trigonometric ratio so we can decide that uh, these two angles are the complementary angles. Uh, so and there are no values for these uh, angles uh, in our table. So hence uh, we have to apply uh, trigonometric ratios of complementary angles here. Uh, just by adding these two we can understand the sum of these two is equal to 90. 36 degrees plus 54 degrees it is equal to 90 degrees. Uh, so we have to understand that uh, these are related to the complementary angles. Uh. So see here how can we solve tan 36 degrees divided by 54. So now I am writing this tan 36 as. A, so 36 can be written as 90 minus 54. 90 minus 54 degrees. So see here uh, I have written this 36 degrees as 90 minus 54 degrees. Uh, divided by right cot 54 as usual cot 54 just we have to change only one don't change both so again if you change both you can get first uh, only given problem only so just i have written this 36 degrees as 90 minus 54 90 minus 54 is 36 only now to apply the formula i have written 36 as 90 minus 54 Again, we have 54 in the denominator. So here it is in the form tan 90 minus theta. Tan 90 minus theta is cot theta. So here theta value is 54. Tan 90 minus theta is cot theta. So it becomes cot 54 divided by. So the denominator right as usual cot 54. So since here we have applied the formula tan 90 minus theta equal to cot theta. 1090 minus theta equal to what cot theta so using this formula we have written so cot 54 cot 54 gets cancelled we get 1 here so the value of 1036 degrees by cot 54 degrees equal to 1 so this is the first bit so next we have to solve second bit so this is second bit cos 12 degrees minus sin 78 degrees Again by observing the, by observing the angles uh, the sum of these two equal to 90 12 plus 78 again these are the complementary angles. So now we have to apply complementary angles formulas. So here uh, just we have to write what he has given. So cos 12 degrees minus sin 78 degrees is equal to. So just I am writing this cos 12 as a. Uh, cos 90 minus 78 minus write this sign 78 as usual just only one ratio we have to change so only one angle we have to write like this either 12 or 78 as your wish okay so we can only one we have to write like this okay only one angle so don't write two angles at a time again you can get the given problem if you write two angles only one we have to write like this so 12 degrees I have written as 90 minus 78. 90 minus 78 again we can get 12 only. So here cos 12 degrees I have written as cos 90 minus 78. So we have cos 90 minus theta equal to sin theta. So here theta value is 78. So here it is in the form cos 90 minus theta. Cos 90 minus theta equal to sin theta. So here we get a sin 78 degrees sin 78 degrees so minus what is there here again sin 78 only right sin 78 so since uh, we have cos 90 minus theta equal to sin theta so using this formula we have written 
cos 90 minus theta equal to what? Sin theta. So sin 78 minus sin 78 we get 0. Sin 78 minus sin 78 the value is 0. So this is the second bit. Uh, next we have to solve third bit. Uh, this is the third bit in, X, uh, in excess 11.3 first problem. So cosec 31 degrees minus secant 59 degrees. Uh, so see here again. Uh, this cosec 31 I am writing again the sum of these two is 90 so again we have to apply complementary formulas uh, cosec 31 I am writing as cosec uh, as 90 minus 59 so I have written this 31 degrees as 90 minus 59 so again 90 minus 59 is 31 so write this secant 59 as usual minus secant 59 so just I have written this 31 as 90 minus 59. So now it is in the form cosec 90 minus theta. Cosec 90 minus theta is secant theta. Secant. So here theta value is 59. So we get secant 59. Secant 59. So minus what is there here secant 59. Write this as usual. So since we have applied cosec 90 minus theta equal to secant theta. So using this formula, so we have written. So here uh, secant 59 minus secant 59, we get 0. So the value of the third one, cosec 31 degrees minus secant 59 degrees is 0. So this is the third bit. Next we have to solve fourth bit. So this is the fourth bit sin 15 degrees into secant 75 degrees so see here i am writing here sin 15 degrees into secant 75 degrees so write sin 15 as sin 15 i am writing as 90 minus 75 so 15 degrees i have written as 90 minus 75 and write secant 75 as usual secant 75 so now it is in the form sin 90 minus theta. Sin 90 minus theta equal to cos theta. Here theta value is 75. So we can write cos 75 into. Write this secant 75 as usual. Secant 75. Since we have sin 90 minus theta equal to what? Cos theta. Sin 90 minus theta equal to cos theta. So using this formula we have written. So we have cos theta equal to 1 by sec theta. So cos theta, cos 75, I am writing as 1 by secant 75 into here secant 75, right as well, secant 75. So these two gets cancelled, we can get 1. So this is the fourth bit in the first problem. So next we have to solve fifth bit. So this is the fifth bit in the first problem. Tan 26 degrees into tan 54 degrees. So see here how can we write tan 26. 26 plus 54 is 90 again. Uh, these two are the complementary angles. So we have to apply complementary angles formulas here. Tan 26 can be written as a tan 90 minus 54 tan 90 minus 54 so just 26 degrees we can write as 90 minus 54 tan 26 so into tan 54 write as usual tan 54 write as usual so just we have to write 90 minus 26 can be written as 90 minus 54 so tan 90 minus theta it is in the form tan 90 minus theta tan 90 minus theta equal to cot theta so here theta value is 54 we get cot 54 cot 54 into tan 54 right as usual so just it is in the form tan 90 minus theta tan 90 minus theta equal to cot theta uh, so here theta equal to 54 we get cot 54 uh, write this tan 54 as usual so which formula we have applied uh, tan 90 minus theta so using this tan 90 minus theta equal to cot theta we have written so we have cot theta equal to 1 by tan theta 
so cot 54 can be written as 1 by tan 54 so into tan 54 right as well into tan 54 so these two gets cancelled we get 1 so tan 26 degrees into tan 54 degrees value is 1 so this is the fifth bit in the first problem there are totally five bits we have completed all the five bits next we have to solve second problem this is second problem in x is 11.3 uh, see here what he is asking to find as uh, show that uh, tan 48 degrees into tan 16 degrees into tan 42 degrees into tan 74 degrees equal to 1 so this is first bit there are two bits in the second problem this is the first bit uh. So see here again uh, by observing the angles uh, so just uh, we can find the complementary angles uh, uh, two pairs of complementary angles. Uh. So here 48 degrees is there 42. So 48 and 42 degrees are a pair of complementary angles. In the same way 16 degrees and 74 degrees also a pair of uh, complementary angles. Uh. So just we have to write the complementary angles together. So just I am writing uh, tan 48 degrees into tan 42 together and in the same way tan 16 into tan 74. So see here uh, how I am writing. So tan 48 degrees into tan 42. So after tan 48 I have written tan 42. So next uh, tan 16 into tan 74 I am writing tan 16 degrees into tan 74 degrees tan 74 so now see here uh, tan 48 i am writing as uh, tan 90 minus 42 tan 90 minus 42 so just uh, only one we have to change so 48 uh, again if you subtract 42 from 90 you get 48 only so tan 45 just i have written as tan 90 minus 42 so again write this tan 42 as usual tan 42 so in the same way so next uh, i am writing tan 16 as i uh, write 16 as 90 minus 74 so this 16 i have written as is tan 90 minus 74 so again if you subtract 74 from 19 you can get 16 only so next i am writing tan 74 as usual tan 74 tan 74 so just we have to convert only one so if you write again if you write a tan 42 also so you can get the given problem only so just only one we have to convert now apply tan 90 minus theta so here it is in the form tan 90 minus theta so instead of theta here it is 42 degrees tan 90 minus theta equal to cot theta so here theta value is 42 so tan 90 minus 42 equal to cot 42 so here we get cot 42 cot 42 so into write this tan 42 as usual tan 42 so next to uh, tan 90 minus 74 again it is in the form tan 90 minus theta so tan 90 minus theta equal to cot theta again so here uh, theta is 74 we can get cot 74 cot 74 so write this tan 74 as usual tan 74 so here we have applied see so using this formula tan 90 minus theta equal to cot theta we have written so again we have cot theta equal to 1 by tan theta so here one uh, cot 42 can be written as 1 by tan 42 1 by tan 42 into write this tan 42 as usual so here also cot 74 can be written as 1 by tan 74 so here also we can write into 1 by tan 74 uh, write this tan 74 as usual so since we have cot theta equal to 1 by tan theta so since uh, this uh, we have written so tan 42 tan 42 tan 74 tan 74 gets cancelled so we get a 1 so here it is which is nothing but rhs so by taking lhs so we got rhs so this is lhs so by taking lhs we got 
RHS hence uh, proved. So this is the first bit in the second problem. So next we have to solve second bit. So this is second bit in the second problem. So again show that uh, cos 36 degrees into cos 54 degrees minus sin 36 degrees into sin 54 degrees is equal to 0. So again by taking LHS uh, we can get RHS. So this is LHS cos 36 cos 54 minus sin 36 into sin 54. So again if you observe the 36 plus 54 is 90. So again here these two are the complementary angles. So 36 and 54 are the complementary angles. Now we have to apply so uh, ratios of complementary angles uh, trigonometric ratios of complementary angles we have to apply here so cos 36 i am writing as uh, cos uh, 90 minus 54 36 can be written as 90 minus 54 so again if you subtract 54 from 90 you can get 36 so next write cos 54 as usual what he has given just we have to write as usual cos 54 so just i have written 36 as 90 minus 54 and write the second one as usual minus here also sin 36 just write as usual so next write sin 36 as 90 minus 54 here also so sin 36 can be written as 90 minus 54 36 degrees can be written as 90 minus 54 again if you subtract 54 from 90 you can get 36 so write sin 54 as well so sin 54 so now it is in the form cos 90 minus theta cos 90 minus theta equal to sin theta so instead of theta here angle is 54 degrees so cos 90 minus 54 is equal to sin 54 so here we can write sin 54 sin 54 next write this cos 54 as usual cos 54 minus sin 90 minus theta it is in the form sin 90 minus theta so we have sin 90 minus theta equal to cos theta here theta is 54 degrees therefore sin 90 minus 54 is equal to cos 54 so here it is cos 54 so right next to sin 54 as usual sin 54 so here we have applied two so the first one we have written using cos 90 minus theta equal to sin theta and this so this is second one sin 90 minus theta equal to cos theta so using these two we have written so now if you observe first and second terms it is sin 54 into cos 54 it is also sin 54 into cos 54 but here minus is there so these two are so sin 54 cos 54 minus sin 54 cos 54 we can get a zero so here both are same so just like 1 minus 1 is 0 here it is uh, same these two terms are same so this is a 0 therefore shown shown so this is the second bit in the second problem so that's all today's class we will meet in the next class with another problem so thanks for watching